It's no secret that by now Mercedes has to scratch and claw for every point they get this season with the new regulations that have put the team on the back foot. Members of the team all know that they are in for a long haul, with most of them downplaying the possibilities for the team this race weekend in Australia, with the most vocal one being George Russell. But with a few mishaps for the competitors and some luck on their side, Mercedes once again find themselves with a podium finish in Australia. So is this the start of things turning around for Mercedes? And what did Russell have to say about Red Bull and their reliability issues? Stick around to find out. Hey everyone, I'm Archer from DRS Zone, and there was a big excitement amongst Mercedes fans this week leading up to the race in Australia as Mercedes revealed that the first big upgrade that had to the W13 would be revealed in Australia. While the fans were excited, Mercedes were actually busy downplaying the effects that the new rear wing would have on the car's performance, and this would prove true in the practice sessions. Of the practice sessions, Hamilton will finish 7th at best and Russell 11th. The two would do their best to squeeze out more during qualifying, finishing 5th and 6th. Both drivers would still manage the expectations in their post-qualifying interviews, saying they are still learning and intend to just give it everything they've got on race day. If you think Mercedes knew all along that they had solid performance in Australia, then reward yourself by subscribing to DRS Zone now for daily F1 coverage. But race day rolls around and at the very first turn, Hamilton propels himself past Lando's McLaren and Red Bull's Sergio Perez into third place. But that wouldn't stick for too long as it's a known fact that Red Bull has more pace than Mercedes, especially on the straights. Hamilton would stay ahead of Russell for most of the race until Mercedes pitted Hamilton a few laps before a safety car was deployed because of Vettel's retirement. Russell would benefit from this because it was the exact time he was pitted and came out of the pits in third place after the safety car had gone off, splitting the two Red Bulls. Hamilton would get past Alonso for fifth and at the same time Perez would move up to third. But tragically, tragedy would strike Verstappen once again, forcing him to retire from the race, which meant that Russell would slide back up to the podium positions and Hamilton would move down to fourth. Many would expect Russell to get the Bottas treatment and have to give way to Hamilton, but that wouldn't be the case, even though the two would get close on multiple occasions throughout the race. But a bit of drama would still present itself as Hamilton would be heard saying on the team radio, you guys put me in a really difficult position. But there would be no visible jockeying between the two Mercedes as they crossed the finish line in the same order. Hamilton would clarify his comments in a post-race interview, saying that this was because his engine was overheating, so he had to back off and not fight for third. In the interview, he would go on to say, I got to see a bit of the battle at the end, racing Perez, and I wish I could have been in it. I couldn't fight for third because the engine was overheating, so I had to back off, so just had to sit behind. This weekend we've had so many difficult moments with the car, and so to get ourselves 5th and 6th in qualifying, to progress like we have, and to have the reliability, and we definitely didn't expect to have a 3rd or 4th. And George did a great job today. And as for George, this would be his first podium finish since transferring to Mercedes. Russell would admit that this win feels special and believes that it's the first step in Mercedes' journey back to title contention. In a post-race interview, George would go on to say, We've got to be in it to win it and capitalise from others' misfortune, and obviously we got a little bit lucky today, probably twice, but we'll take it. There's so much hard work going on back at base, back in Brixworth, to try to get us back to the front, so to be standing on the podium is special. And when asked what he thinks about Red Bull and their reliability problems, George would simply reply with, It doesn't matter how fast your car is if you don't make it until the end. Definitely some fighting words from the British driver who had been downplaying his team's chances all week long. But Mercedes has made it known that Australia would be phase one of the long list of upgrades that they have in plan with new flooring in Imola as phase two. Most analysts estimate that upgraded flooring will solve Mercedes porpoising issues once and for all and with George Russell believing that they'll be back at the front of the grid once the porpoising is under control. Imola will definitely be a race to look out for Mercedes fans. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to DRS Zone.